on the kali.org website if you click on download that will take you to this page now click on recommended on the virtual machines now click on download for kali linux pre-built virtual machine image file for vmware workstation now click on download save and the file is being downloaded according to that it's take uh, 38 minutes to complete the uh, download but i have something found that download takes long from a kali website so i have pre-downloaded software so i don't want to download this file right now now i'm going to cancel this download it's a kali linux virtual image file it comes as a 7z file so now you need to extract this file using 7z210 software in the description I have I have given that link use that link to download this after you install this 7z software now right click on the 7z file click on show more click on 7z and extract the files to save this directory the files are now being extracted it will take time and you basically just need to wait for that to complete Okay, that's now completed. Here is the extracted directory. Now open this. See, uh, there are the VMware files. Now come back to the downloads. So what I could do is uh, take this extracted directory and uh, move it to my virtual machine directory. Okay, now let me show you how to import this Kali Linux VM within VMware. In a VMware, go to File, Open, go to Documents, Virtual Machines. I want this Kali Linux 2021.4a. Open this folder. Now select the VMX file. Click open. A virtual machine has now been imported into VMware Workstation. I click edit virtual machine settings. Here I can change several parameters including RAM. I could allocate more RAM to this virtual machine. If I want 4GB or 8GB, I can change from here. But I will leave it as 2GB uh, for this moment. Now processes. I could change number of processes here. If your computer doesn't support 4 processes, you may reduce or change number of processes here. And hard disk, 80GB, that's fine. CD DVD, auto detect. Network adapter. I wanna bridge this to my network adapter so so I selected Bridget and uh, USB controller sound card uh, display okay everything else looks good now I'm gonna click OK here you can see default username and password okay now power on this virtual machine okay. 
and it take up to 3 minutes to enter login screen. Now enter default username and password and click on login. Okay, and I can log in into my VM. Now, if you click on the terminal. IP address IP address will show me my IP address now you can see my IP address as you can see I will do that again again IP address enter so as you can see here IP address thus on my Windows laptop okay so let's try to ping my Windows laptop from here ping and uh, this is my uh, laptop IP address okay so let's try to ping from Kali Linux okay give enter now I should able to ping Windows laptop from my Kali Linux so now I'm gonna close this window okay okay that's uh, today's session I hope you enjoy this video please consider subscribing my youtube channel and like and also don't forget to click on bell icon thank you and see you on the next video